hearty welcome to Honorable Chief Secretary. Director General Ishada, Shri Anand Limay, to welcome Shri Swadhin Kshatriya, Chief Secretary Government of Maharashtra, with a memento and a plant. Training Program 2016 to deliver a welcome speech and to present a report on foundation phase of Combined Probationary Training Program 2016. Uh, good morning one and all. I welcome Honorable Chief Secretary of the Government of Maharashtra, Sri Swadin Chetriya, uh, Secretary Tribal Development, Sri Raj Gopal Devra, our Director General Sri Anand Limay, Deputy Director General Madam Pong Shri Vahingankar, all other dignitaries present in the hall, colleagues at Ishada, officer trainees, ladies and gentlemen. I stand here to present to you as to what went on in the last two months. As we know that we at Ishada and are aware that the government of Maharashtra in 2014 has taken a landmark decision to organize a combined probationary training program for all direct recruit class 1 officers of the state civil services. Third combined probationary training program 2016 was inaugurated by the Honorable, Honorable Governor of Maharashtra on 2nd May 2016, in all 60 officer trainees of six different cadres, respectively the revenue, police, sales tax, rural development and state excise had joined this program. Hence, Eshada now is conducting the third CPTP for two years, for two years which commenced on this 2nd May which is expected to conclude on the 1st April 2018. The program is designed into six different phases, respectively the common foundation for eight weeks, compulsory attachment for six weeks, technical training eight weeks, district attachment for 66 weeks, 
exposure to the state of Maharashtra and the national capital. And the last phase of the program is debriefing for the four weeks. Foundation phase of the third CPT being is being organized for eight weeks for, from the May 2nd, 2016 for 60 probationary officers may, of, for the cadres mentioned above. The program is planned on the lines of DOPT training program for all India service officers and the inputs of the training course are planned on the lines of Labasna Masuri. The foundation course is conducted as a generic training program applicable to all departments irrespective of the nature of work of the concerned departments. These newly recruited officer trainees need a proper insight into the working of the state government and a proper introduction about the organizational structure and functioning of the state along with various laws and rules governing their functioning. Officer trainees also need the training on management techniques and human resources development so as to enable them to make their department capable of competition with the private sector. The combined foundation training program is thus designed to cater those requirements. This course is mainly designed for professionals so as to give them a proper understanding of administrative setup in the government of Maharashtra and to impart significant skills that are necessary to be good and efficient officers. The foundation, they also, the, the, the trainees are provided with accommodation on the campus and during the foundation they, are, they also participate in many other activities like physical training and sports and yoga. The combined foundation training program is designed in such a way that includes classroom teaching along with field visits. The main aim of the program is capacity building at all possible levels. The duration of the common foundation course is eight weeks and is followed by six weeks of different attachment in various sectors as field visits. Immediately after the completion of this foundation training of eight weeks, which we are concluding today, <coughs> Field visits will commence from the 26th of June, will include an attachment with the Moral Rearmament Center at Manjgani, followed by an attachment with Army, Legislature, Judiciary and the attachment with the Village and Tribal Life respectively. Keeping in view the objectives of the CPDP, the program is designed to seek active participation of the officer trainees as well as the organizations they belong to and of the con consultants and experts with a view to weaving, weaving a common thread that runs through diversities of different levels of government functioning. Methodology of the teaching and training at Ashada is very well supported with good infrastructure, including classrooms, accommodation, campus accommodation, computers and Wi-Fi facilities, audiovisual equipment and well-stocked library. The foundation training program, I believe, must have facilitated to evolve the common ethos for these state civil service officer trainees and develop camaraderie among different services of the state cadre. Eshada looks forward to having a disciplined, ethical and professional state civil services henceforth. A typical day for a trainee officer at Eshada during the foundation starts at 6 a.m. with jogging for 3-4 kilometers followed by the morning exercise for about half an hour. The officer trainees have about an hour to get ready, have breakfast and, 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 and report for classroom sessions, which commences at 9.15 a.m. There are four academic sessions of 60 minutes each in the morning session with the basic inputs or basic emphasis on public and, uh, public and development administration, law and judiciary, economics and finance, management and behavioral science, office administration and e-governance. Post lunch, there used to be two hour session of other methodology of training the leading discussions, uh, of training like leading discussions, case studies, guest lectures, group exercise, group presentations, etc. This went on all working days as per the prescribed session plan for the sessions, we invited bureaucrats of central and state governments, role models from different walks of life, such as the social workers, literary personalities, and journalists. 
inputs on computers and English had followed the sessions of brainstorming. Evening hours from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. were allotted for sports. The officer trainees used their post-dinner time to interact with each other and also to review the day's learning and prepare for the sessions for the next day. Notified holidays and weekends are usually reserved for extracurricular activities such as the community services, short take, treks, heritage walk, etc. This is how a course usually demands 8 to 10 hours a day. The importance of physical and mental fitness is leading a life of health. Vitality and peace needs hardly be emphasized. It is all the more critical for those who have hectic and often tension-filled careers. Officer trainees are encouraged to lead a rich, varied and vibrant campus life, extending much beyond the confines of lecture halls. Hence, Sheshada lays a strong emphasis on outdoor events as part of its dynamic training curriculum. It boasts of a state-of-the-art gymnasium and physical fitness center, yoga, yoga hall and volleyball facilities to assist the trainees to improve their proficiency in sports and games and to be fit to it. We believe that the entire exercise of last two months has set the ground for probation, tra probation, probation training of these officers. For this, I thank the entire support system of Eshada and for bringing the foundation training to a successful conclusion. I also thank from the bottom of my heart as a course director our Chief Secretary of the State of Maharashtra for having been spent this time and coming for this concluding session. Thank you one and all. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. Now may I invite Srimati Sneha Ubadi, Probationary Officer Trainee, to share her experience. Honorable Director General of Yashada and all respected dignitaries present here, fellow officer trainees, Ladies and gentlemen, it was 5th April 2016, we all got selected in state civil service and within a span of three weeks, we joined our combined probationary training program at Yashida. The foundation training program held from 2nd May to 25th June 2016. We thank all the concerned departments like General Administration, Home, Public Health and Welfare for their speedy response. The Honorable Governor of Maharashtra inaugurated the program and guided us on 2nd May 2016. We used to start our curriculum activities with early morning physical training. Physical training helped us to keep ourselves fresh for the entire day and embedded discipline amongst us. The experience of lectures at Yashida was unique. These lectures were from different backgrounds to mention few like economics, public administration, law, rural development, behavioral management and personality development. The future of India lies in the villages. So, the rural development lectures provided real insight into the rural Maharashtra. Lectures on the economics help us to understand the economics beyond the books. Also, the lectures on e-governance gave us a multidimensional approach in the governance and provided futuristic governance of Maharashtra based on pillars of transparency, accountability and morality. The introductory lectures of Maharashtra civil service rules gave us the guidelines and protocol to be followed by a civil servant. The lectures on law gave us an overview of Indian Penal Code and Criminal Procedure Code. Osnul session was really a full of sorry. Osnul session were really a full of excitement to all officer trainees, and the reason for it was during those sessions we got an opportunity to interact with eminent personalities from social, academic, bureaucratic, and spiritual fields. For each of the session held in the morning as well as in the afternoon every day used to have a different day officers and an escort officer which help us to improve our stage daring. 
Initially, no one was familiar with his or her fellow officer's training, but as the time progressed, we were able to break an ice, and now we have become not only good friends but also a good family. Computer lectures in the evening help us to gain computer knowledge, which is a prerequisite of office administration. Also, lectures on English help us to improve our fluency and vocabulary. Activities like daily diary help us to keep ourselves up to date, to analyze our day and planning for the next trip. Last but not the least, the foundation training at Yashida happens to be an amazing experience which helps to improve our all our personality and we are sure that what we learn here will try to utilize most when we get onto the field. Thank you, thank you so much Yashida for conducting such a nice foundation training program. Thank you, thank you so much. For sharing a wonderful experience. Now may I request Shri Raghavendra Gorpade, Probationary Officer Training to share his. Good morning everyone. Honorable Chief Secretary of Maharashtra, Honorable Director General of Yashada, Honorable Secretary of Tribal Development, Honorable Deputy Director General Man, and all respected dignitaries present here, my fellow officer trainees, ladies and gentlemen. Today I stand here to share my experiences about the extracurricular activities took place during our foundation training of last eight weeks. It was a fine Sunday morning in the second week of our training program when we all officer trainees went for a Pune heritage walk. Pune, a historical city called as a cultural capital of Maharashtra. This heritage walk gave us a new identity about the city which we were unaware about. The visit is followed by a visit to the National Defense Academy. It was really an amazing experience where we came across the training activities of Indian Armed Forces. During the visit of the National Defense Academy, we learned as how perfectly the motto of service before self is satisfied at each and every stage of training and which need to be implemented in every aspect of governance. The management games conducted during the foundation course help us to grow in character and improve our overall personality by imbibing the qualities like trust building, communication skill, leadership qualities and team spirit. Trekking activity at the historical Siagat Fort was a thrilling experience. Though it was a small trek, but we enjoyed it a lot. The visit provided an insight into the Maratha Empire and greatness and qualities of Sri Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, an idol for any administrator. We also participated in a cleanliness drive at Siagat Fort. The visit to Siagat Fort was followed by our visit to Nanded City, which is a self-sustainable township. It can be seen as a model for us in our endeavor to develop smart cities in future. An excursion activity of visiting a base camp of National Disaster Response Force nearby Pune provided us information about different types of disasters and their management. This will help us in future while tackling any unforeseen occurrences during performing our official duties. I am glad to mention here that all our excursions were eco-friendly. The different sports tournament held during our foundation program helped us to develop a sportsmanship-like qualities and team spirit among all officer trainees. The cultural festival held last night was a real amalgamation of different cultures, traditions of Maharashtra, which each one of us participated enthusiastically. All these excursion activities remain successful in developing camaraderie, bad spirit amongst us, and which is a real purpose behind the CPTP. I thank everybody for giving me an opportunity to get at the podium today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Raghavendra. A uh, combined probationary training program is an intense and demanding program. All came up to expectations and performed well, whatever was the activity assigned. However, based on the academic and extracurricular objective criteria, Academy had chosen three probationers to receive special awards. Now, may I request Honorable Chief Secretary Government of Maharashtra to present trophy to three best performers. The top award goes to Mr. Uday Singh Rajput, <laughs> professionally deputy He is requested to come on the dais and receive the award at the end of Honorable Chief Secretary of
नमस्कार ऑनरेबल चीफ सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र श्री स्वाधीन क्षत्रिय सर और फॉर्चुएटिस गेस्ट सेक्रेटरी ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट श्री राजगोपाल जी देवरा डीडीजी यशदा श्रीमती सोनाली पोंक्षे वायंगणकर कोर्स डायरेक्टर ऑफ बोथ द बैचेस द एग्जीक्यूटिव कोर्स डायरेक्टर्स द कोर्स टीम द आई एस प्रोबेशनर्स हैव ज्वाइंट दिस फंक्शन एंड ऑल दियर ऑफिसर ट्रेनिंग इट्स इंडीड अ privilege for all of us that the chief secretary of government of maharashtra has come here to give you a farewell as i was briefing honorable chief secretary we have uh, combined two batches to be here so that your views and your ideas could be passed on not only to one batch but to two batches together as you know sir we have got one cpt de batch which has just completed the foundation course and there is another cpt de batch which started way back 2 years ago and which is finishing its entire journey of 2 years the journey ends on 30th june and their debriefing session is going on so there are about 60 officer trainees in the foundation course and 160 plus officer trainees in the debriefing session let me congratulate uh, the best performers of the foundation course as uh, the compere was telling us almost all of you have performed very well but you know not all people can be equal there can be there has to be somebody more equal so the best form of performance deserve congratulations and let me assure you that uh, the cptp batch which is undergoing the debriefing session also will be given uh, best performance uh, award by way of award of marks sir uh, we have uh, allocated there is a scheme of marks which will make an assessment of these officer trainees over a period of 2 years so marks are allo allotted for each of the phases for the foundation for the attachments for the district uh, postings that they are doing and also for the debriefing session 
the debriefing session is very important and the assessment made in that will affect or will decide the inter seniority as well as the government resolution has come out. Well, on this occasion, uh, we are actually eager to hear the views of Honorable Chief Secretary. But I have just two points to make. You know, over a period of time, the uh, role of a civil servant of a government officer has changed. After the British Raj, the role of a regulator changed to the role of a facilitator. Again, it has now acquired a new dimension and that is the dimension of being a service provider. And what is at the center of all governmental activity is the citizen. So remember that when you go out to the field, the debriefing session, that is the first batch will be going out to the field to the district to take up their new posting, full-fledged posting. And the foundation course probationers will be going to the district for their attachment. Please remember, government and governance has changed and a citizen-centric approach has been infused over a period of time. So with that in view, one has to uh, carry out your role in the real sense of the term. Well, on this occasion, I wish you all the best, all the officer trainees from both the batches. Uh, it is a coincidence sir, that uh, this uh, function, validatory function is being held in a renovated uh, auditorium. This is the first uh, function of uh, this renovated uh, uh, structure and uh, it's, it's a good sign that uh, it, it is uh, commensurate with the uh, acronym Yashada. Yashada means provider of success, giver of success and this renovated hall will give you a lot of success when you go to the field. Well, thank you very much and all the best. Sir, now it's my honor to invite today's chief guest to address the participants. Please welcome Shri Swadin Shatriya sir, Honorable Chief Secretary, Government of Maharashtra. The Director General of Yashita Shri Anand Dimay. My colleague, uh, Principal Secretary of Cooperation Department, Sri Rajgopal Devra. The additional director. The additional. Is it working? The additional director general of uh, Yashada, Sonali. Faculty members of uh, Yashada, the course director. Probationers belonging to Indian Administrative Service and to the State Service. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm very happy to be here today. The course director and the DG Yashda had been requesting me to come and speak to the probationers. But uh, the responsibilities of the Chief Secretary uh, are such that it's very difficult for me to come out of the office and today it's a good thing that I'm able to come out and talk to you people. I'm also here because the Honorable Prime Minister is visiting tomorrow to inaugurate the Smart City flagship program. All of you must have heard and I'm sure you the Smart City flagship program of the Government of India must have been taught to you in the academy. It's a new way of looking at urban challenges. So the Honorable Prime Minister is here tomorrow, the Honorable Governor, the Honorable Chief Minister, everyone is arriving in Pune. So I'm here and uh, I would uh, be happy to share my views with the Provisioner. I would first of all 
begin by saying that uh, let me congratulate Shri Uday Singh, Shri Samadhan and Shri Rahul for having stood first, second and third and back the trophies. I don't know. I'm sure these three may not be very popular among all the probationers. They must be saying, Are, they are very, we had a term called the KTP, you know, keen type probationers. <laughs> a keen type probationer is always looked down upon by the peer groups. <laughs> and takes everything seriously. So the the rebellious types must be saying, they are hooled this fellow down, but today since the chief secretary is here, so you will have to probably... But life is full of competition, and you must take competition very seriously. Why? Because all of you are products of competition. I'm a product of competition. Everyone sitting here on the dais is a product of competition. We did not have any godfathers. We are here because of our merit, because of our hard work and because of our studies and because of the dedication that you put. So continue this throughout the life. Never allow a thought to come to your mind that I have now reached heaven. And if you struggle, if you are struggling, 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 Academy मध्ये तुम्हाला जे काय डिसिप्लिन कोर्स डायरेक्टली सांगितलं की सकाळी 6 वाजता बरोबर आहे की 5 किलोमीटर जॉगिंग पासून सुरुवात होते इट्स अ गुड थिंग वेरी हॅपी व्हाय डज द एकेडमी ट्राय टू डू ऑल दीस थिंग्स टू यू इट्स बिकॉज फॉर दोस हु हैव कम टू द गवर्नमेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दीस डेज आई फाइंड दैट द एज एवरेज एज हैज स्ट्राइकली इंक्रीज्ड and people come to the government after having had some experience in various fields. But not in our time. Ghost Director Sahib, we went straight from the college and university. Not knowing the world at all. I have never worked in any assignment outside college, university and the Indian Administrative Service. So you need to be molded to a government system. So the other thing is that the Shasan Mande शासनाची एक चाकोरी आहे आणि त्या चाकोरीमध्ये आता मला राहावं लागेल हे दृढ संकल्प मनामध्ये केलं पाहिजे दिस नॉट अ सर्व्हिस यू विल से दॅट आय विल नॉट फॉलो गव्हर्नमेंट सिस्टम्स यू हॅव टू यू आर अपॉइंटेड फॉर दॅट यू आर पेड फॉर दॅट द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया द गव्हर्नर हॅज अपॉइंटेड यू टू कॅरी आउट द फंक्शन्स ऑफ द गव्हर्नमेंट इन अकॉर्डन्स विथ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ दिस कंट्री नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू युअर out of the box thinking and revolutionary ideas. No, this is not this place. If you want to try those things, the society is very large, you have to go out of the system and try all those things. Here you will carry out what are the systems, traditions, due process of law, due procedures of law and function according to the government. Therefore, when we celebrated the Civil Services Day a few days ago, probably a month ago, we had all to remind ourselves what is our existence owing to? Our existence is because when the country was getting its freedom, if you read the debates of the Constituent Assembly, there was a huge debate. Why continue the civil services now? We are a free country, we are a democracy. And this is a legacy of the British Raj. Do away with it. That is was the demand at that time. But there was one who had the foresight and who stood for the civil service and that everyone knows was the iron man called the late Sardar Vallabhai Patel. He told the constituent assembly and all his colleagues that time that this vast country called India will disintegrate if you don't have a civil service. And therefore he described you as a, what did he describe you as a? Steel frame. I'm very happy that somebody remembered it. And please tell yourself, I'm here to uphold the steel frame. I'm not here to break the steel frame. In fact, I will resist any attempt to break the steel frame. That is your assignment. That is your mandate. That is your, I would say, focus for which you have to live at this service. And therefore, 
whether it is punctuality, whether it is discipline. Punctuality has to be followed, but not so much that I am finding I am half an hour before time. You know, Malawati is the Kakrava's person, but the Karakram is the Kakrava's person. But punctuality is the Savai. Ekta Savai is Harina, the Mug Ayushama de Tras would play. You have to you have to learn these things. Simple Gushti Adhya. I am reminded of something which I did 35 years ago. In the first postings you will find that you will be posted in a smaller place and perhaps your residence and accommodation will be very close by. I was doing my first posting at a place called Pusat. It was a subdivision of Yavatmal district. It was the assistant collector I was holding. And there was only a barbed wire compound between the office at the residence. So I used to go home for lunch. And one day somebody must have prepared a dish which I liked it. And I had a little heavy lunch and fell asleep. And when I came to the hall, because it was meant to be a, as, a, as an assistant collector, you have to do a lot of casework. I was telling these young officers, a lot of casework has to be there. So I found the hall was all waiting, including the lawyers. And they gave me a smile, so okay, so you fell asleep and all. So I felt so ashamed that day. But from that day I took a oath and a vow and a determination. In 35 years, I have never been to my house for a lunch. I call the tiffin and I take a light one. That enables me to give one hour every day to visitors. So the point I am going to say is, be not only disciplined, punctual, be accessible to people. मी अधिकारी झालो म्हणून लोकांच्या मध्ये जी एका प्रकारची गुरमी येते किंवा हे होते की मी आता लोकांना भेटणार नाही हे करू नका यू कॅन कम टू माय ऑफिस इन यू विल फाइंड अ बोर्ड दॅट एनी वन कॅन मीट मी बिटवीन 2:30 अँड 3:30 यू मस्ट शो द सेम रिस्पेक्ट टू अ कॉमन मॅन ऍज यू विल शो टू अ एनी इंपॉर्टंट पर्सन ऑर मे बी अन इंडस्ट्रियल असोसिएट यू हॅव टू दॅट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ फ्रीडम that we fought for in our country. The common, common man, Aam Admi Bulldo to Tara Bhangadi Ote, Mulu Mi Tara Common Man Bulldo, the common man has to be treated with respect, has to be treated with dignity. How will you treat him with respect and dignity? Not by doing something which is illegal, but by giving him a patient hearing, by listening to him, and if it is possible, you will find many people come with genuine difficulties, remove those difficulties. You find many of them come with difficulties which you have no answer. The law does not allow you to remove those difficulties. You have to explain to them. This state has a culture that by and large, if you explain to them, this is the legal difficulty, I am not able to solve your problem, people accept it by and large. There would be some exceptions. Vaar Bharat Bhastir, Naya Tumi Kelas Paiji, Hei Karnar, Bhandar, Takrar Karnar. But that will be a small number. You got to live with this system. You got to accept that there would be different types of people who will come to you. But don't close your doors. Don't shut your door. That would be the biggest mistake some officers make. Therefore, my suggestion to you would be be accessible. I don't say that you should be accessible from morning to night. It is not possible. You won't be able to do your work. That is what people don't expect that also. But people want a predictable behavior from you. Kadhi phone gila ta sahib bathroom madhe newspaper vasta jewan karta thi karta to kahe karna tha. Tumi liun ta karna bahir ek board varti liya. Ki maaja shi ki maa अधिकाऱ्याशी भेटण्याची वेळ दोन वाजल्यापासून चार वाजल्यापासून जे काही आहे एक दिवस किंवा एक तास तुम्ही ठरवा यू विल बी मेनी ऑफ यू इन यंग डेज यू विल बी फील्ड ऑफिसर्स यू हॅव टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ टुरिंग आय अंडरस्टँड यू हॅव टू से दॅट दीज आर द डेज वेअर आय ट्राय टू बी एट हेडक्वार्टर्स अँड इफ फॉर सम रिझन आय एम नॉट एबल टू बी एट हेडक्वार्टर 
designate a number two or a number three who in your absence will handle those kind of assignment. If you are a collector, typically there is somebody called RDC. Only three officer are said. Tala is our very Jadushi mean as not to be a So that is another thing I said. So while you will uphold the steel frame, your director general was absolutely right in saying that now we are here as a service provider. What is the, if you ask me, what are the three words? I don't know, I might have told some people the same three words which I'm very fond of saying that your style of working must incorporate these three words. First of all, tumsa kaam hai paar darshi Nothing can protect you more than transparency. Every decision that you take has to be transparent, has to be reasoned and has to be with justification and reason recorded in writing. मला माहिती आहे की तुमच्याकडे जेव्हा हजारो फाईल येतील तर प्रत्येक फाईलवरती लिहिणं जरा कठीण जातो परंतु किमान महत्वाच्या फाईलींवरती तुम्ही हा निर्णय का घेतला दोन ओळी का होईना तीन ओळी का होईना तुम्ही काहीतरी कारण आणि त्याचं जस्टिफिकेशन नमूद करावं असं मला वाटतं मी स्वतः ह्या अडचणीतून गेलो म्हणून मी तुम्हाला सांगतो एकदा मला कोर्टात बोलवण्यात आलं आणि सांगण्यात आलं की हा निर्णय जो आहे has been without application of mine. And I was being cross-examined by an aggressive lawyer. He was telling Lordship, Lordship, he didn't apply his mind. And I was pleading to the Lordship, no, 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 Lordship, we all have to do it. So, Vakil Manala, what is it? One word is not the right word. And I realized that I had made a mistake. Thereafter, of course, I started recording. Even without reading, I used to say, I have read each and every page. <laughs> that, is a, that is a, I would say, a humor part of it. But please do record. I was called by that lordship separately after the grueling cross-examination was over. And over a cup of tea, he told me, I know you have read the file. Why didn't you write one or two sentences? I said yes, sir. but it was when I was very young. Even today, I have come across some cases in which whenever I recorded reasons, it has withstood judicial scrutiny and never has any stricture come against me. Of course, you must be reading every day that the chief secretary is held up in contempt. The rose manager with the contempt of the And it came with such a कधी म्हणतात की विक्टोरिया मुंबईमध्ये बंद का झाले नाही त्यांचं पुनर्वसन का झालं नाही मालकाचं चालकाचं आणि घोड्यांचंही पुनर्वसन का केलं नाही मुख्य सचिव असे अनेक विषय चालू असतात परंतु घेतलेला निर्णय हा जर विथ जस्टिफिकेशन रिझन असेल आय नो यू पीपल यू ऑफिसर्स आर गोईंग टू वर्क इन टू डिफरंट फील्ड अँड आय फाउंड दॅट यू गोईंग टू वर्क इन दी फील्ड ऑफ सेल टॅक्स देन Deputy collectors, deputy CEOs, BDOs, DYSP, ACP, finance and accounts, the Silda, and I really pity one person by the name Anil Kanade, Atul Anil Kanade. So, Ek Matra hai, SSE Mathe Zatu hai. We vichale hai na, Anand Lim hai na. Hakai Prakara Mule, Ek Aska hai ni, Kutte Zatu hai toh. So I'm told he's going to state excise. So I wish you all the best to uh, Mr. Atul Kanade also. So all of you in your own fields must learn to record reasons when you are taking a decision. Be transparent. That's the first. Second point which I thought was ki your decisions have to be loka bhimuk tumsa kaam karne chi pradat ani prashasana asla paiji. लोकांच्या अडचणी सोडवणं हे आपलं कर्तव्य आहे हे आपल्या मनामध्ये तुम्ही ठेवून द्या त्याच्यासाठी आपण अहोरात्र काम केलं पाहिजे आणि अनुभव काय शिकवतो की काही छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टी जर तुम्ही केल्या ना तर एकदम अमुलाग्र बदल होतो त्याला काय फार मोठी क्रांती लागते असं नाही आहे की काल मार्क्स वगैरे असं एवढं काही लागत नाही छोट्याशा गोष्टी 
आज सकाळी किती लोकांनी वर्तमानपत्र पत्र वाचलं मला कल्पना नाही पण अनेक वर्तमानपत्रात मी एक वर्तमानपत्रात असं वाचलं की आता लग्नाचं रेजिस्ट्रेशन करूनच बघा म्हणतो तो वर्तमानपत्र हैराण आहेत म्हणतात लोक साधं लग्नाचं रेजिस्ट्रेशनसाठी इतका त्रास आहे असा आजच्या पेपरमध्ये आलेला आहे सो वाय खान वी चेंज दीज थिंग्स आय रिमेंबर आय वॉज ब्रीफली समी केम टू कंप्लेन दर आय वॉज इन द प्रिन्सिपल कॉर्पोरेशन या रेजिस्ट्रेशन लग्नाच्या रेजिस्ट्रेशन आता असं म्हणायची वेळ आली की बाबा पूर्वी रेजिस्ट्रेशन नव्हतं हेच बरं होतं एक तर लग्न करा आणि भरतून रेजिस्ट्रेशन करा म्हणतात म्हणजे पुरावा एवढा सबळ तर ते आलं म्हणलं काय तक्रार आहे भाऊ कायदा झाल्या मी म्हटलं तुम्हाला लग्नाचं रेजिस्ट्रेशन करावंच लागेल काय व्हॉट इज अ प्रॉब्लेम त्या म्हणजे साहेब मी सगळं डॉक्युमेंटरी एव्हिडन्स सगळं पूर्ण केलेलं आहे पण एक अडचण दूर होऊ शकत नाही तुम्ही सांगा मी काय करू म्हणलं अशी काय अडचण आहे सांग ना त्यामुळे सगळं डॉक्युमेंट एव्हिडन्स होणार पण तुमच्या जी आर मध्ये एक गोष्ट असं म्हटलेलं आहे की लग्न ज्याने लावलं ते ब्राह्मण किंवा फादर असेल त्यालाही आणा म्हणतात ते मला म्हणजे ते मी कुठे शोधतो मला तर आठवती ते कोण होत सो वी मेक सच लॉज अँड रूल्स सो ॲज फील्ड ऑफिसर्स यू मस्ट टेल द गव्हर्नमेंट कंटिन्युअसली इन युअर रिस्पेक्टिव्ह फील्ड वॉट चेंजेस कॅन ब्रिंग अबाउट सिम्प्लिफिकेशन टू कोट सम एक्झाम्पल्स आय बी गिव्ह आय बिकेम अडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ रेव्हेन्यू बिफोर आय वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज अ चीफ सेक्रेटरी तर तहसील जिल्हाधिकारी कार्यालयाला मी जेव्हा भेट द्यायला सुरुवात केली तर मी बघितलं की शैक्षणिक वर्ष सुरू होत असताना फार लांब रांगा असतात सगळे मुलं मुली उभे आहेत अरे तुम्ही कशाला भेटतो साहेब आम्हाला डोमिसाईल सर्टिफिकेट पाहिजे तुमचं नाव काय देशपांडे तुमचं नाव काय गायकवाड तुम्हाला कशाला डोमेसाईल पाहिजे माहित नाही साहेब शासन म्हणते की तुम्हाला डोमेसाईल सर्टिफिकेट आणावं लागेल सो देन वी आय रिअलाइज की देर इज समथिंग रॉंग इन दिस डोमेसाईल सर्टिफिकेट ऍक्च्युली शुड बी रिक्वायर्ड बाय पर्सन ऑर बाय बॉय अ गर्ल हु हॅज कम फ्रॉम आउटसाईड अँड हॅज बीन रिसायडिंग इन महाराष्ट्र फॉर मोर देन फिफ्टीन इयर्स तुम्हाला सगळ्यांना हा नियम माहीत असेल बरोबर आहे की नाही पंधरा वर्षपेक्षा जास्त या राज्यात जर वास्तव्य झालं असेल तर त्याला आपल्याला डोमिसाईल सर्टिफिकेट लागतो आणि त्याच्या अगोदरच्या लोकांना आपण म्हणतो की तुम्ही डोमिसाईल नाही आहे आता जर प्रश्न असा आहे की मूळ रहिवाशीच महाराष्ट्रातले असतील तर त्यांना कशाला ही अडचण असावी म्हणून त्यावेळेस मग मी माझ्याकडे नव्हता तो विषय पण तो उच्च शिक्षण खात्यामध्ये मला वाटतं त्यावेळेस त्यांनी मग तो जी आर काढला होता असं मला आठवतं आणि त्यांनी दाखवलं सुद्धा होतं तुम्ही चेक करून घ्या ते काढलं की ज्या मुलाचं आणि मुलीचा जन्म महाराष्ट्रात झालेला आहे त्याच्याकडे बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट आहे आणि त्याच्याकडे शालेय शिक्षण इथेच पूर्ण केल्याचं टेन्थ किंवा ट्वेल्थ जे काही असेल पूर्ण केल्याचं जर दाखला असेल शाळा सोडल्याचं त्या दोघांची जर गोळ्या बेरीज केली तर पंधरा वर्ष झाले ना to be issued a gr that if you provide these two certificates that you were born in the state and you have done about 15 years of education in the state no besides certificate would not be required for higher education and thereafter i remember i found in my next rounds of visit after the gr was issued the queues had vanished now this did not require any great uh, i would say thought because if you look at the performers you will find that the performers are so difficult people find it so difficult to answer you may have passed ias exam you may have passed the state service exam with top numbers but it when it comes to filling the forms you will find you are not able to fill up the forms barobar hai ki i went to delhi from maharashtra as a, after doing my collectorship until that time i did not realize what it was for filling forms कोणीतरी फॉर्म फिल करून आणायचे आपण साहेब सह्या करून फेकून द्यायचे आता दिल्लीमध्ये तुम्हाला ही मदत मिळत नाही मी डेप्युटी सेक्रेटरी म्हणून गेलो होतो फक्त दहा वर्षाची सेवा झाली होती आणि सगळे फॉर्म धडा धड धडा धड आले अकॉमोडेशन पाहिजे तीन फॉर्म भरा पाणी पुरवठा पाहिजे दोन फॉर्म भरा वीज कनेक्शन पाहिजे तीन फॉर्म भरा ते फॉर्मच भरता येत होते एवढे क्लिष्ट होते आणि तो जो खिडकीत बसलेला तो कक्ष अधिकारी किंवा बाबू होता तो म्हणायचा की कोण आहे फॉर्म नाही भरणार 
मूलभूत प्रश्न जन्म कभी पटकन संगता है तो त्यावेस त्यांनी विचारलं होतं पंचवीस वर्षांनी तुम्ही सेवा निवृत्त कुठल्या तारखेला होणार आहे म्हणलं बाबा मला माहित नाही झालं कॅल्क्युलेट केलं नाही सो सिम्प्लिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉर्म्स इज व्हेरी व्हेरी नेसेसरी अँड दॅट कॅन कम ओनली फ्रॉम फील्ड ऑफिसर्स बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग टू पीपल नॉट पीपल सिटिंग बॅक इन मंत्रालय समटाइम्स ऑफकोर्स सिटिंग इन मंत्रालय ऑल्सो यू लुक एट दी फॉर्म आय स्टार्ट इट लुकिंग एट दोगे साईन फॉर्म आय डोंट नो दॅट इज अ सेम ऑर इट इज चेंज इट स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन्स की तुमच्या आई वडील महाराष्ट्रात कधी आले आता काय उत्तर काय देणार बरोबर कशाला आले असे प्रश्न आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये त्याचा तुम्ही लोक माझं म्हणणं असं आहे की एक मोहीम घ्या एक यंग पीपल कॅन स्टार्ट दिस लुक एट द फॉर्म्स कॅरी आउट द स्टँडर्डायझेशन ऑफ फॉर्म्स देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिफरंट फॉर्म्स विच आर दे मराठवाड्यात फॉर्म वेगळं विदर्भात वेगळं वराडमध्ये वेगळं खानदेशमध्ये वेगळं कोकणात वेगळं आणि इकडचा माणूस तिकडे गेला की हा आम्ही नाही मानत हे फॉर्म तुझं कुठं आणलं असं बोलायचं की जसं काय पाकिस्तानमधून आणलं होतं सो वी मस्ट टेक अ ड्राईव्ह अँड दी अकॅडमी शूड टेक लीड इन दिस ब्रिंग अबाउट स्टँडर्डायझेशन ऑफ ऑल फॉर्म्स मेक फॉर्म सिम्पल आय एम गिव्हिंग यू दीज एक्झाम्पल्स टू हाऊ टू मेक लाईफ सिम्पल फॉर पीपल ऑफकोर्स यू बी डुईंग युअर रुटीन वर्क विच आय वॉज गिव्हिंग दॅम अ बिग लेक्चर इन द मॉर्निंग हाऊ वर्थ दे मस्ट रीड द लॉज whether it suppose you are a deputy collector you must read the maharashtra land revenue code the office manual the office procedures you must learn how the land records are maintained scanning kaise kele digitization parantu lokancha adchani kase dur karu shakto loka abhimukh prashasan kase karu shakto chhotya chhotya goshti kara tumhala khub anand mile yache tu don nukte sa parna shi nirnay ghetle ki self attestation ha ek mokha nirnay jhala ani self declaration नाही तर पहिले काय व्हायचं गॅझेटेड ऑफिसरची सही आणा तो गॅझेटेड ऑफिसर सापडत कस काही कधी गॅझेटेड ऑफिसरला भेटायचं म्हणजे एक ज्याला म्हणू की शर्यतच असायची ज्या लोकांना त्रास झाला असेल त्यांना सगळ्यांना आठवत असेल की गॅझेटेड ऑफिसरची सही म्हणजे काय होत आता आपण म्हटलं की काही गरज नाही तुम्ही स्वतःच अटेस्ट करून टाका सेल्फ अटेस्टेशन विल बिलीव्ह यू आणि फॉर्म टू बी अनट्रुथफुल it will amount to a criminal offense by and large 99% of the people will be law abiding and would be truthful that is my belief that is how i assured in these reforms and i said affidavit pratyek goshti sathi affidavit kai jilla adhikari ni majha sangna varun kai mothe camps lagle ani o matla ki sagya goshti nagrikanna kay kay lagtat yachi ek yadi tayar kar काय लागतो नागरिकांना नागरिकांना वेगवेगळे प्रकारचे दाखले तुमच्याकडून लागतात उत्पन्नाचा दाखला वयाचा दाखला जातीचा दाखला सगळ्या प्रकारचे दाखले आम्ही म्हटलं की एका ठिकाणी कॅम्प लावायचा आणि सगळे दाखले एका ठिकाणी देऊ तर ते दाखल्यांच्या कॅम्पला मी गेलो तिथे दोन तीन आणखी खूप काउंटर्स चालू आहे काय सगळे ऍफिडेव्हिट आणावं लागतात सर तर दॅट गेम बी अन आयडिया की वाय हॅव ऍफिडेव्हिट फॉर एव्हरीथिंग so wherever possible government has done away with affidavit i don't know how much has percolated down because i am now sitting as a chief secretary loka mala bahar jeu det nahi office madhe bhanun thevta itke file pathavtat ki they ensure the chief secretary is not able to go out but i hope that these things have come down i want the yashada <coughs> anand <coughs> sorry give me a feedback ask all these professionals when they go out to the field